Welcome assassins to the 15th elusive target of the game. This is Etta Davis, the Angel of Death, and I really like this target. Pretty cool backstory on her. Let's go ahead and watch the intro. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Etta Davis, also known as the Angel of Death. The target is a retired nurse, believed to have killed dozens of patients in retirement homes and hospitals across Great Britain. Her preferred technique is poison, though in later years, she has begun to prefer blunt weapons and violent accidents such as falls. Ongoing intercepts have tracked her to Marrakesh. This matches profile predictions that she is expanding her hunting grounds now that the net is tightening at home. While the target may look like a harmless old lady, it is certain that she will kill again repeatedly, given the opportunity. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Alright, let's read a little bit more about her. Etta Davis demonstrates that evil can hide in the most unassuming of places. The well-educated and urbane woman is a former nurse, well-liked for her soothing bedside manner and calm nature. It is unclear when she commenced her career of murder, but it is most likely to have begun during her tenure at the Graverslide Hospice in the 1980s. Under cover of the naturally high mortality rate of such locations, she perfected a range of skills including poisoning and directed sabotage. Following the death of a former member of Parliament while in her care, investigations were reopened and are ongoing, but the death is likely to be ruled an accident. However, additional information provided as part of the contract background indicates a very high likelihood that she in fact sabotaged the former minister's wheelchair, leading to a precipitous plunge down a flight of stairs. Alarmingly, this information also indicates that her rate of predation has increased. Her preferred techniques include poisoning, sabotaging fixtures, and in several cases the careful weakening of staircases. While she eschews firearms and physical combat, she is deadly predator who is extremely likely to kill again. The current chaos in Marrakesh would provide extremely good cover for further predations, so her rapid elimination will no doubt save lives. So pretty cool. Let's get right into this. So as always, I'm going to show all of her route before taking her out. That's how I do elusive targets. Good afternoon, 47. We have been unable to determine the target's specific location, but she was sighted in the city center yeah, a few hours ahead. ago. Whatever you do, don't accept a cup of tea from her, 47. Good hunting. That's strange. The old man's never late. True, sir. So what time did he give us again? I believe you talked to the former headmaster yourself, sir. Yeah, well, we better wait a few minutes more. He's a big fish around here, mind you. He must have taught half the children in the neighborhood. Honestly, I'm still a little bit afraid of him, sir. Sure, he was handy with the cane. But I don't hold a grudge against him. Those were different times, right? Guess so, sir. He taught us punctuality and respect. I think he was the best thing that happened to most of us, you know? That is true. So what's taking him so long? Well, we've waited long enough. Let's have a look around. I'm right behind you, sir. Alright, so I am going to stalk the target and I'll fast forward when there's no action. But Etta Davis is actually right up there. And you can sneak up there and kill her. You can push her off the ledge. But I prefer to wait because it's not worth sneaking up there, honestly. So I'll wait until she comes down. It usually takes her about two minutes. I might do a little bit of editing here. Look at this snazzy Paris with glove suit. Ah, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Hi, I... <laughs> Honestly, I am lost. Uh, does anybody have a map I could borrow? Uh, uh, smartphones, sundial, anything. Please, please. So once this clown makes his entrance, you know that Etta Davis should be almost down the stairs here. Now what's interesting about this elusive target is that if you watch a lot of crime shows, you will know that it's actually a pretty common thing for nurses to kill patients. Actually, it's not common, but there are lots of nurses out there who have killed dozens of patients. Seems like we're going shopping, boys. Wrap it up and fall in line. We're moving out. And 
What is this then? This one is beautiful. Uh, pick a beautiful Just lamp like one that dear old Gladys you. had. Unfortunately, she had a heart attack on the plane back Good to, to see London. You, sir. Poor thing. Well, it's a local design that the tourists like a lot. Well, I certainly shan't be buying anything here. I can tell you that much. Yes, ma'am. It's not as if we have a coup to foil or anything. So there are plenty of opportunities to kill her, but this time around I'm actually going to use a sniper rifle. He took such a terrible spill down the stairs and landed on carpet just like this. Indeed, ma'am. You're a religious man. My condolences. Forget the ladies, oh, I have well. great ties with ancient Quranic verses. I could look at this all day, no? Colonel. But there are so many things to see. Shall we? Shouldn't you be uh, getting back? I suppose not. Off we go then. These stupid shopkeepers, man, they're harassing me like crazy. I can't believe it. Damn. traveling <laughs> and he was quite bright I do miss the days where a telephone was a solid thing with a bit of strong cord on it do you remember those oh but how do you uh, what do old people do with phones oh my look at the time we should really old people call their Your grandkids being served at the bar So pay attention to this big cafe sign up oh, here. Okay. It's actually how I'm going to take out the targets. Evening, sir. Oh, heavens. If only my dear sainted husband could see this. Oh, everyone is wearing those silly American sports hats. And anyone who wears a hat like that is just asking for trouble. I'm sure you'd agree. Yes, yes, of course, ma'am. There's still so much to see. Let's be off. Uh, I suppose we could go with you. I mean, for a bit longer. So her route is pretty random, but she'll basically bounce around between all the shops here in Marrakesh. There's no particular order to which shop sh she visit. It's basically random. But I'm gonna go up to Spipe and actually use a sniper rifle to get rid of her. But not just yet, let's follow her a little bit longer. To be honest, anyone could have put things on my if they have any Zalu. If they do, you should try it. And here I am, keeping you from your important business. Perhaps just one more shop? Of course. 
There's literally nothing I'd rather do. Hello, sir. <laughs> Alright, she's off that way, but I think that is enough following her around. It's time to take her out. I'm gonna wait for this clown here to finish smoking, that way he doesn't see me climb the pipe. It doesn't matter if he actually sees you, but just for cinematic purposes, I want to be a little bit more creative with this. Now, I chose to do this sniper rifle for this. Because I've always wanted to kill an elusive target with a sniper. But you know that if you shoot them, you can't get Silent Assassin, but I still want to be able to do that. So here in Marrakesh, you actually have the perfect opportunity to get both Silent Assassin and get a Sniper Rifle kill. So I am not going to miss this chance. I left my Tiger Jaeger 7 Sniper Rifle here. And I can shoot her from down there, but I prefer to do it from up here because I have a bit of a better view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an accident kill by dropping that cafe sign on top of her head with my sniper rifle. And since her route is random, it may take a little while for this to happen. So I'll do some editing whenever she pops here. Oh, there she is. Let's go. Oh, nice. Damn. My heart was actually pounding on this one because I have to time that shot perfectly. Or I can kill her bodyguards and lose the Silent Assassin. So that's a bit of a risky kill, but very satisfying. I feel good right now. And the nice thing is that the exit is right here. So I am good to go. I really enjoyed this elusive target, and I hope you did as well. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Hitman content. I cover the game pretty extensively. 100% completion, of course. So that's that. See you next time. And I gotta say, I do enjoy this new conclusion screen, instead of fading to black, that it fades on the location instead.